This is a lovely 2018 on an 18 registration Mercedes-Benz E220D, uh, which means it's a two litre diesel variant, which is very economical, cheap to run, good on fuel, cheap insurance, etc. So a very good everyday car for somebody. And it's a beautiful example as it's a premium plus specification. And it's also an AMG line. So it's got a better styling and a lovely specification with pretty much all the options you can have on it, um, which I'll explain as we walk around the car. It's finished in diamond white metallic with black and white interior, which is also quite unusual. Um, but again, we'll show you that as we go around. It's two owners from new. It's got a full service history and it was very recently done in April this year. It's also got four brand new tires on it. So it's pretty much bar an MOT ready to go and we will include that MOT. Um, but to start talking about the actual car itself, um, starting at the front here, it's got multi-beam LED headlamps um, and these have automatic high beam. They're dynamic headlights, so they turn around the corners and they do auto high beam as well which will block out individual cars on the motorway um, so you can leave the high beam on all the time and that will do all the work for you you've got this beautiful sort of diamond mercedes-benz grille on the front here and the car's also fitted with an amg night pack so if you look down on the front splitter here this is in gloss black um, along with a lot of other touches around the car such as the window surrounds door mirrors etc um, and that's all part of the amg night package and coming around the side here We've got these beautiful dual tone 19 inch alloy wheels and they are AMG alloy wheels so you can see the AMG embroidered into the wheel there and diamond cut on the faces and gloss black on the inserts so a great looking wheel and the, the black inserts go nicely with the night package which I mentioned very recently um, and as you can see that continues on the door mirrors here and these window surrounds all the way around and it's also complemented very nicely by the privacy glass in the rear and the black sunroof as well. Again, panoramic roof, part of the Premium Plus specification. Um, I'll give you a quick glimpse inside the car here as well so you can see the white leather that I mentioned, um, half black, half white, and I think it actually looks beautiful. A very unusual color scheme, which you don't see very often, but it's just nice to have something a little bit different to your standard black. Livens it up a bit in there. Um, we'll discuss more of the inside when we get round the driver's side. But coming round the back now, as I mentioned, the privacy glass on the back window there, and then the night package continues on the diffuser here as well. So gloss black across the top of the diffuser, and then you've got those chrome exhaust pipes on either side as well. Um, power boot as part of the premium plus specification as well. Um, so there's a nice big boot in there as well, and it's very deep, it goes a long way back, and there is levers here for folding the seats down, the rear seats as well. So you can make it even deeper if you need. And then the button up here just to close that power boot. And then if we come round the driver's side now, it's keyless entry and exit as well. Again, part of the Premium Plus specification. And if you have a quick look in here, again, you'll see this beautiful, very fine, soft leather here as well. And these beautiful sort of metal window buttons, etc. cetera. Um, all the power folding mirrors, as you would expect. Memory seats for the big adjustable seats here as well. Lots of adjustability on those heated seats and the driver can actually adjust the left hand side seat from the driver's side which is what that button is there and then you've got these beautiful aluminium speaker grills for the Burmeester surround sound system and if I jump in the car now I'll talk you through some of the options on the inside so as part of the adjustability on the seats it has got four-way electric lumbar control which is down the bottom there as well um, so you can get yourself nice and comfortable in here and being a premium plus, the steering column is all electric as well. So if I fire the car up, there's a lever on this side where I can move it in, out, up and down. So you can get very comfortable in there. And then you've got, and again, another good option on this car is the dual digital displays. So a standard car actually still has um, analog dials in front of the driver here, but this car's fitted with the upgraded dual digital displays, which can be both be controlled through the steering wheel here. So you've got these touch sensitive buttons here, um, so I can flick up and down on there through the different options. And it's very customizable, this screen. You can have it as a map in the middle. You can have it as one dial. Um, there's lots you can change on that screen. And the left-hand side of the steering wheel here controls the center screen which i mentioned earlier so it, i can return to the home button flick across on there obviously a very big screen here as well and very good quality and if i put the car into reverse you get a nice big reversing camera again very good high definition there as well and if i turn the steering wheel the guidelines change with that as well 
and then a full 360 degree parking sensor display there as well so you can get an idea of how close you are to things in front. Again, another feature of this car which is hard to pick up during the daytime, but Mercedes have very good ambient lighting in their cars, so all under the dashboards here, you can probably just about pick it up. It's all, at the moment, it's set on blue, but you can change the color of it. It goes all around the car, and it's actually just a lovely place to sit in the nighttime. Um, and if you look above me, I'll show you that panoramic roof I mentioned earlier. So an electric sun blind, and then the roof does tilt up and slide all the way back as well all automatically and that can be done from the key on the car so if you're locking the car after you get home if you hold the lock button it will actually shut the roof after a few seconds as well um, and there is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a wireless phone charger in here as well um, so just all the features that you could ever need on a modern car these days all automatic headlights um, and a frameless rear view mirror it's just a nice place to be so if I turn the car off and jump out now so as I mentioned, just two owners from new, the car's just ticked over 53,000 miles, but is in stunning condition for the age and mileage. Very well looked after, as I mentioned, with a full service history, very recently being done. It will have a new MOT before it leaves us, so you'll have a car that should be completely fault-free motoring for at least a year. Um, my name's Ben, I hope the video's helped. Give us a ring if you've got any interest, thank you.